Dave. Good morning. Hi. What, what's happening here? I don't is there a name for it or is it? I'm, I'm, uh, wax slapping, on, wax the, off, isn't it? I'm slapping away the invisible ghosts that are, that are like, they're like, ooh, and I'm like, no, 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 no. in with positive, out with negative, in with positive, out with negative. <laughs> yeah. Right, you do you do your arm movements. I'll say hello to the chat. We have got in the chat Deb Hughes. It was in 20 past nine. Deb Hughes got there. That was just after I put up the preview, I think. Uh Julie Pearson, Antoinette Daly, Daryl's in, Emma Hall's in, morning, Emma. Uh Becca Faduke, Maria Clark, Lucy Goosey, not in first this morning. Lucy must have had a lion. Tasty eBay, your missus is in. <laughs> Kath Palmer, Janet Plant, Catherine Reseller, Gray. I'm just getting in the bath, so I won't be chatting, just watching. Ooh. Ooh. We Take can it see you. <laughs> Imagine if it worked that way and never went, oh look, there's Catherine in the back. <laughs> uh Laura Eccleston Siebel, Chris Tyler. Um it's a I know can never Chris Tyler is a is a boy and Chris Griffiths Harry is a girl. Yeah. I I, I I get the mix up. Just watched Andrew's last live. Wow, I didn't watch that, so I have no idea what that's in reference to. Yeah, um, no Oh god, it's shot off. Bear with. Uh Indy's in. Hi, Indy. In between car boots, I was just having a cup. Imagine having the stamina for two. Carrie, Laurel, Dean, Nia, Jason, Bronwyn, Samantha Coates, Andrea Turner, who I always want to say Anthea Turner for some reason. Mm -hmm. Lisa Louise, that bastard Steve Green. Lisa J, Sandy Beach, Kmore, Sarah Price, Gillian Holbrook, Granny Kate, hand painted by Claire. Claire can't want one. Flipping fantastic finds. Kelly is there. Hi, Kelly. Linda Sutton. I don't think I've missed anyone. Elaine Woods. Oh, she says, first time doing chat. Hi, Elaine. Welcome to the chat. Be nice to, be nice to Elaine in the chat. Welcome. Okay. If you're wondering why I said that bastard Steve Green, it's because he's been an absolute arse twice this week. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a sod. Absolute sod. I was fuming this morning. Fuming yeah. with him. That's how I felt. I had a dream earlier in the week in which Steve had a massive party and didn't invite me. So I'm not Steve's friend anymore. Not only did he not invite me, but I was outside looking in through the window and he was pointing at me and laughing. So that was nice. And then Lex had a dream last night and uh He stole all of my eight triple A batteries. <laughs> all of them. I was like, where's and and thing is, right? I had bought loads of them because I was like, I know I need loads because of all the things I bought that needs batteries and stuff. And then I went to get them, I was like, what's the actual Steve, Steve's a bastard. Dream Steve, Dream Steve, bit of an arse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't think about Steve. He steals like stuff and doesn't invite you to things. And, and, and no. uh, Jackie Egerton's in, Fandria's in, Ketan Panchal, click, click, bye. That's it's, it's not the catchiest of things to reel off, but we'll just go call you Ketan for short. Says, Hi, all Carlo and Lex, watching all the time, but first time commenting. I'm usually on Chris and Bell's channel, but I'm making an effort from now on. Love the videos. Thank you so much. Nice to have you here. Oh. Uh, Kay Moore says, First time here as well. We've got lots of first timers in the chat. Everybody oh, playing nice. nicely. <laughs> they are lovely in our chat, in fairness. Um, Shirley Boland's in. Steve's laughing because he's that kind of arse. Mike Dando, uh, Good evening. Think, oh, Lisa Marshall, that's Lisa Count One, isn't it? I think we've only got one, one Lisa so far. So we're one Lisa and one Claire. So far, we're fairly evenly evenly matched. Dawn's in, and I've said Laura Eccleston Siebel about four times now, but we'll say her again. There's Laura Eccleston Siebel. <sighs> been car boot. Okay. And Lex has been car boot. I have as well. It does cost me a tenner in taxis, though, which is, you know, it's poo. What about a little tricycle? No. No? No, because there's that thing of like, what if I do buy something big? I can't cycle home what with it. What a little tricycle with a trailer? No. <laughs> Claire James and Claire Plant are there as well. Oh, oh, three. Oh, no. Apparently, we're three all. Three Lisas and three, three Claires, apparently. We've got a proper rumble going on now. Morning, Buck and Ibber. In the car park. I can see you on a tricycle. You know, like, do you remember Wurzel Gummidge? Do you remember the crow man who used to come and mend Wurzel and he used to ride a massive black tricycle? Yeah, it's just not going to happen, though. I can see it. I can't, I can't, Claire Riley's in, Claire Count for. Ooh, I can see it. I, honestly, I think it's very you. It's only a payment. Don't get excited. I mean, I'm excited that they paid, but it's not a sale. Foundry says electric bike and trailer. But isn't that quite pricey, though? Well, an old style tricycle wouldn't be. You'd only need like a um, can of oil every now and again. That's not going to happen. Mummy could probably build you one. Is it? Probably. <laughs> Mummy would be more likely to use it, to be honest. <laughs> Morning, Dragon Value Home. Nice to see you. 
Um, I've had some lovely positive comments from Dra Dragon Valley Home. It's the first time I've seen them in the chat, so nice to see you there. Ah, yay. Yeah, Dawn's are definitely a trike for you. Very popular there in Australia. I didn't realise that. Mm. Is Australia flattish as a general rule? They have mountains. I mean, you wouldn't want to trike up and down a mountain, would you? I don't know. I always imagine Australia to be quite flat and um, just very fieldy, you know, mm. whereas New Zealand, a lot like Wales, very hilly. Hmm. That's how I imagine yeah. them. Mike Dando says, I've got a good mobility scooter with a trailer. It's not legal, but you can give it a try. Mike's such a rebel. I'd, I'd do a mobility scooter. Hmm. There is a lady that does the car boot, and she turns up, not with a car, with a mobility scooter, and she has everything in like a billion carrier bags attached. <laughs> Fair play. I will not be beaten by not, not driving a car. Well done, that woman. Kitan says, I'm going to make a video later. There's a new update on eBay and has been there for Android and now on Apple that you can customize your view. So set it to solds and completes and buy it now along with others. I, 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 I take your word for it, mate. Fair enough. I am sure that the app on my phone does a lot more than I even ever explore. I'm sure it does. I've ordered a new phone. Yeah, I'm what have you ordered? Um, an iPhone 11. I'm going back to iPhone. I know. I know, but it's partly Sue's fault. Yeah, Auntie Sue. Auntie, Auntie Sue, Sue with her new Mac and her new iPad. Yeah, and because she's got iPhone as well, and she's like, oh, it's so you know so easy to transfer the clips, you know, and stuff from your phone, just airdrop everything. And I'm like, oh, man, like I have to edit on my phone and then up, and it takes blooming ages, and I can't, you know, transfer off with a cable because it's a Samsung to a Mac. and it's, and it's I, just I transfer from a Samsung to a Mac. Yeah, you've probably worked out how to do it. And I I, I plugged the cable in and it went, do you want to do this? And I went, yeah, all right. Yeah, see, I plug my cable in and it just goes, no, you need this kind of software. And then I downloaded that kind of software and it goes, you need to update this. And I'm like, but I don't have that to update it. But like, stop it, stop it. So just no. So, so I just iPhone thought, 11. And, and, the, rest of the camera was amazing. Exactly. I thought like, if it if I wasn't running a business, like... Um, I would just stick with my Samsung S7. Are you because... running a business? Huh? Are you running a business? Apparently. I thought you were just fucking around like the rest of us. Yeah, right. Um, you a business. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that is definitely tax deductible, all of it, because mm -hmm. the only reason I am getting the iPhone 11 is, is... Because it will make your photos better for your... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But that is very tax tax yeah. tax tax buckable. So otherwise, I would have just kept this. But I've got like you know you know you get screen burn. So like even when it goes, you know, yeah. like you can still see all the apps and stuff when it's not there. Yeah, I had a bit of that on my Android, oh, yeah. but I sold it to a friend and she was quite happy. So yeah. Well, I might give this one to my mum possibly. Yeah, see, he's going. You run a business. That's how I felt when she said it. You run a business. Are we running businesses here? <laughs> I'm running a business stumbling stumbling through whatever the fuck this is is what i'm doing lucy says at least it wasn't a rude dream with steve i'm sure he'd be just as annoying and disappointing in a rude dream <laughs> oh it promises it depends where you are in australia they have a bit of hilly and flat they've got both <laughs> australia's got it's got it all show us what you bought when you went off to on your car to the on your trike to the car boot sale on my trike to the car boot. I don't know if people start believing that. And they go, you know that Lex, the one in Wales with the trike, even though they've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. um, this one, bit of a dud. Spent one pound fifty on um, three packets of coasters. Yeah, but they do have, well, because they just don't sell for much. I've looked them up and I'd be lucky to get a fiver each for them. But I thought they've got unusual dogs on them. So that's a bear dog. That's, um, a, that's a what's it thing of me, that is. Yeah, I know. I knew what it was until I wanted to say it, and then it went. <laughs> that's a, a wolfy dog. That's a husky, isn't it? And that's a floppy dog. That's a cocker spaniel. Yes. And if I if I was going to King have Charles, a... it might be King Charles. King, might be King Charles. So you've got a lot of reflection. It might be King Charles. But it, if I was going to have a dog, that's the kind of dog that I would have because I love the big floppy ears. I must and... admit, I wanted one with big floppy ears. Yeah. yeah. And when they run and they just go, <laughs> oh, my hair does it as well. But the best is, thanks to you, ladies, I started selling on eBay the 1st of August and now I'm £2,500 better off. Wow. So, A, well done you. And B, can you tell us how to do it? Because yeah. you're doing it better than me. 
Jeez, man. Pomeranian cat says the first one. That's the Pomeranian, word. Pomeranian. Oh, well yeah. done. New cat up now. So, yeah, five are each on them. Yeah. yeah. It's only 50 p each, you know. Not everything's a winner, is it? Well, no, exactly. I mean, I won't lose money on it, so that's okay. Do you want to show another thing or shall I show a thing? I'll show another thing. These were also 50 pence each. Um, this is not the kind of thing that I normally buy, but I just thought, well, we'll give it a go. So these are three, um, I mean, like the boxes are a bit tatty and stuff. This is the Jordana collection. Never heard of it. I know, right? And they're three paperweights, so that's a small star oh, one. Oh, I like it. And then there's two big star ones. Does anyone in the world actually use a paperweight for weighting papers with, do you think? No idea. But these were 50 pence each, and I look up completed and sold. One had sold for 99p at auction, and then another one I think had sold for about £12.50. So I figure three of them for 20 quid. I'll fix the boxes. Yeah. You know. Cass says the long hair is getting their yeah. dinner, and you have to tie them back. Lisa, Lisa wants to know, are the coasters all the same in each pack, or are they a selection of different dogs? They're all the same in each pack. So you've got a pack of Huskies and a pack of Spaniels and, yeah. Yeah. And Karen's just strolled in. What time do you call this, young lady? Write out 500 times. I must not be late for the live. Bloody disgraceful. Imagine if she does start putting it in the chat 500 times. I must not be late for the live. I must not be late for the live. <laughs> yeah, just type it. Don't just copy and paste. Yeah, we'll know. We'll know if you're copying and pasting. We'll know it's going to yeah. too quickly. <laughs> Why Ooh, eBay message. Oh no, here we go. Okay, no, it's okay. It's okay. I got vintage Christmas decks. <gasps> Jealous. Oh, so did I. They're not as cool as yours. I oh. really expect the box is a bit knackered because. I'm oh, sorry, I lost the camera. Oh, there it is. They're lovely. Are so they glass? They these were um, made in Spain. Apparently, they're another swan product made in Spain, it says. I got those mm. and I got these, but there's only five in there. That's okay. But I paid two pounds for the, for the two. So it, 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 um, these ones are um, the thread, you know, the spun, the spun silk ones. <laughs> but then with, with glitter patterns on, on top of as well. So. I sold a bunch of um, spun silk ones uh, this week, actually. Yeah. I, did you see Stall's Instagram? Yes. Lots the of photos. The photos stuff. are so nice. They are. I'm going to ask him where um, where he gets his light box from. I know he, he also edits them mm. as well. Um, I don't even like Christmas decorations, but his photos made me want to buy them. So, gorgeous. Yeah. Me. Yeah, well, these are my vintage Christmas decorations that I bought today. Well, at least I think they're vintage. They look awful and camp and Christmassy. Oh, I hope they're vintage. I hope nobody's still producing that. I know, right? But they're all, um, it's just like a cardboard thing that you hang out, and then these are like 3D bits that are stuck on, like they're raised. They're, they're, it's, they're, they're fucking delightful, that is. It's disgusting, isn't it? It's <laughs> bloody awful, bloody awful Christmas stuff. And then there's that one. As well, which is literally marginally better. I think there's like five or six of them in there, different ones. Yeah. But yeah, hideous, aren't they? That was a pound. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, Crispy's in. Morning, Crispy. Um, Carmen says she got carried away ironing. Wait, 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 wait. Ashley. Good morning, Ashley. The, the long, the lot. I haven't seen Ashley for ages. But you say Guten Morgen. Wait there. Morgen. Right. Good morgen, mine and hair. My, 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 my diamond. My, my diamond. How oh, hell is men? Damn it. Oh, where are they? I was at, um, I went to Puss Call yesterday because I got a call. We've got jewellery. Go, go, go. So I was like, I'm going, go, go. And then when I got there, the church at the end of the road was having a tabletop sale and I bought some stuff and now I can't bloody find what it is that I'm looking for. There they are. So vintage West German egg cups. It's a Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. What's the what's German for egg? Um, French for egg is earth. Earth. No idea. We need Karin. But yeah, made in West Germany. Super 80s design, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. <laughs> nice. Love that. Love that. German egg and cuppens. Egg and cuppens, yes. 
<laughs> Morning, Andy yeah. Maxwell. One whole word for it, wouldn't they? Egg and Poppin. I bought five rolled doll books for a quid. Nothing exciting oh. there. Literally just five rolled doll books for a quid. Your favourite? Oh, no, is it, is it, is it no, 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 no. No, it's not. George's Marvellous Medicine is my yeah. favourite. Yeah, I didn't get George's Marvellous Medicine. I can't, I blip. Didn't get that. Sorry, is it me? Yeah. <laughs> this is my actual bargain of the day, and it's upside down, so bear with. Talk amongst yourself. Okay, I can show you another Christmas thing I got, again, from Chris Paul yesterday. So I got um, Yankee Candle. This was £2.50, and it's the, you know, you have the plate, and then you put the candle, and then that thing on top. That way. And it's like little mousy Christmas design, which is quite nice. It's Handle plate and and a jar topper. Yeah, one of them, isn't it? Um, so that was yeah, two pound fifty. Someone's got one listed at fifty nine ninety nine at the moment, and it's the only one on eBay. So bit more. Josh says he got Christmas decorations today. Cool. There was quite a lot there. In fairness, I had done so. I'd filled up my toy so much by the time I got halfway round that I, the last bit I kind of just skimmed. So. I'm sure I left plenty of treasure for Josh today. Lisa says she loves the Yankee Candle thing. This is actually probably my buy of the day. Oh, okay. I got this That's delightful nice bag. bag. <laughs> it contains one, two, three, four, five, six. Talk about yourself. Eight, nine, ten. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. 24 assorted Epson polar bear inks. Nice. 24. So I spotted them and I thought, I wonder how much she wants for them. And I thought, I'll ask her because that's how you find out. Mm -hmm. That's a little top tip from Carla. And you know when you're asking and you think, if she says X, I'll offer X. And I was like, I bet she'll say like, you know, a couple of quid and I'll offer a pound each. And then she went, oh, I don't know. Two for 50p? <laughs> you're coming there. home with me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then it was five pound fifty or six pounds, and she rounded it down to a fiver. So I paid five pounds for twenty-four sealed Epsom ink cartridges. Five pounds for twenty-four. Five, five pounds for twenty-four. So not even twenty-one pence each. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bargainous bargain of bargains, that one. That's brilliant. Don't know how much they sell for. Various Epsom inks go for various prices. But they're all sealed. They're probably all out of date, but that doesn't really doesn't matter. They're not actually very far out of date. They're they're only May last May last year, so people will buy out of date inks quite happily. Yeah, that's um, brilliant. yeah, that's that's definitely. Oh, hang on, will I fall off the chair? Bear with. Oh Christ! Never lean down on a wheelchair because it pisses off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's definitely whatever whatever else happens, that's paid for the day. Usually an Epson ink I can get about eight ninety nine for a single. Karen says she's just sold some for sixteen pound. But she, when you say some, Karen, is that like some or you know? So I've I've sold some ink or I've sold some inks. But yeah, usually I can get about eight or nine quid on an Epson easily, and I don't. And and some go for more than others. I can so, show you. Should I show you a bolo? Go on it's then. A, it's a bolo if you get it right, not a bolo for me. Okay. It's a Bagpuss mouse. I was going to say, isn't that from Bagpuss? Yeah. Heave. Heave. Now, no. it would be, it would be, this only cost me 50p and I'll probably get about £6 for him. Um, it is a bolo if you have the set, of which I think there's probably five. But it's the one, the ones that you want have got a voice box inside and they sing. Now this one has got it in, but the voice box doesn't work and you can't like open it to replace it. It says on it, you can't do it, which is a shame. 
But if you can get all of them and they all sing, they go for loads. Yeah, I bet they do, yeah. Claire yeah. says, does he talk? He, he did at one point, yeah. So it's a shame. But for 50p, well, I got... You're not prepared to do surgery on him? See if you can get him open and repair his innards? Um, well, they just uh, it once ba um, not replace the sound device is not replaceable once battery is exhausted. Hmm. So I guess there's no way to open up the actual. Good box, morning, Claire Cairns. Which is a shame. But well, uh, can you not unpack some of the shopping? Thank you. I'll do it all myself. But thanks for the very kind help. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago I went? I've never found speed stacks. <gasps> I found speed stacks again. She marked them at three. I paid two. I mean, she agreed on two. I didn't just, you know, I made, it, made it. That's it. <laughs> well, that's that's what what yeah. <laughs> she marked them at three. I offered, I offered her two, and she accepted it. So yeah, some speed stacks, and the last lot weren't boxed. So that's um nice at the end of box. Oh, stalls just come in. Just too late because we were we were bigging you up five minutes ago, and you missed it all. Totally. Stall said he said he'd pay a huge price not to have five vocal mice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Claire says she used to have one like that and he sings. Aww. I probably will go tomorrow, Josh, but it's usually not great on a bank holiday, but I, I usually go anyway. But yeah, so. Yeah, probably will. I got this, except it isn't. Now, he did open it and show me that it wasn't, in fairness. Um, it's a big BT Big Button 200 box, but inside it's a Silvercrest phone. So it's not what it says on the box. However, I paid two quid because I said to him, well, since it's not in the right box, will you take two quid? I wanted three. And I actually, I actually, actually with a capital H, I actually have a BT Big Button 200 phone that I've listed. So now I can box it and, yeah. Excellent. So that was all right. I didn't mind that. Oh, don't squash your Christmas decks, woman. If all, if all the things to put the heavy stuff on top of, anybody think you were new here. And seeing, seeing as a uh, stall is in, I'm going to show him my lovely vintage glasses. And I've I've sold these before, so I know that they sell. And I paid a pound for the three. And the couple said that they've got more at home, and they'll bring them next week for me to what buy. Why they only brought three if they've got more? Oh, because they they had just so much, so much stuff. They're obviously clearing out Grand's house. You know, they are atomic. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and they were just like, it was just, you know, they just randomly grabbed stuff. Um, but, yeah. And I've, I've sold this pattern before, so I know that they go. So. Now, Vicky, I'm going to sound really mean here. You are late. And be, because because if I don't if I don't give you the same treatment I gave Karin when she strolled in late, then, then people will be cross. So now I'm afraid you have to write out 500 times, I must not be late for the live. Because we made Karin do it, and now we've got to make you do it as well. You've got to treat everybody the same. <laughs> Steve says all they called Steve a bastard. Not sure if they were talking about you. Definitely you. <laughs> Definitely you. Yes. <laughs> if you weren't so nasty in our dreams, we wouldn't be so nasty in real life. Mm -hmm. True story. I paid three pounds for four of these, and I've lost one, so you'll have to wait a minute. We you know sometimes you buy stuff and you get it and be like, "Why the fuck did I buy that?" Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Hang on. There's the, there's the other one. Uh, so three pounds for four horrible snow globe. Disney Winnie the Pooh snow globes. One, two, three, four. Quite why I do not know. The woman looked a bit sad. <laughs> she looked a bit lonely and sad, and 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 I think I went ah. Go on then, sell us some shit. <laughs> but you know. Well, you bought Disney. I sold out and I bought some Disney as well. And I'm morally against Disney. But these were 50 pence each. And it's Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, they've got to be worth money. No. Not really. no? no. Vicky says she's on a different time zone. Well, Vicky, if you bring a note from your mum, we'll let you off. Like, this is from... Um, the musical and this one isn't so it's not like i can really sell them as a pair either i mean i probably will because i can't be asked mm. 50 pence each 
you know, they're all official and everything, but it's just, oh, what am I doing buying Disney? It's just not me. I think Carol shopping for Christmas. Look, Carol Mason purchased the Michael Bublé perfume body lotion and more set for my local saver store for $19.99. I can't. Michael Bublé bringing out a perfume and body lotion range just seems so weird, doesn't it? Morning, Joan. Oh, text from the bank. Vicky says, right, and that'll take her all day. When will I fit in my nana nap? If you bring a note from your mum, Vicky will let you off. Oh, look at Jason. Jason's got his, his, his viewing done for the day. <laughs> I wonder, are they regular sellers, Jason? Are going to be able to go back next week and go, yeah, I've seen your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Sue. Sue says she's written her own note. Now, Sue, Sue's mum is no longer with us, so, we're, so Sue has to write her own excuse notes these days. <laughs> and that's fair enough. Buble bar. <laughs> I picked this up and the bloke went, oh, you can have that and everything in it for a quid. So I went, all right. It is a paper chase large pencil case, which is quite nice on its own. There is a sack roots purse inside, mobile phone carrying purse, although quite handy for your fags. It reminds me of the thing my grand used to carry her fags and lighter in. <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice is always worth picking up if you see it. It doesn't go for huge money, but it's it goes for more than the, the more than they usually ask for it in car boot. And then in here is chunky jewellery. Oh, okay. Look at that rotter. Ooh, that's is that fine. one? I think that's two rotters. Two that rotters. That's fucking horrible, isn't it? It'll sell. Is it, surely that's not a necklace, is it? A necklace, as Kelly would say. Necklace. Is it long enough to be a necklace? Yeah. Not for me, it's not. I can't do that up. Genuinely, I can't do Maybe it's for a child. But it's too big to be a bracelet. Unless, well, I don't know, maybe it isn't. No, that's horrible. It is fucking wild, isn't it? Like I said, the, it was the sack roots and the, and the paper chase pencil case that I that appealed more than anything else. But maybe it is a bracelet, but it's too big to be a bracelet. I don't know what the fuck that is. I just know it's unpleasant. And then this one, which is also quite unpleasant. And has a weird... What the hell? A oh, fuck knows. And this one, which is not quite as nasty, but it's still quite, still quite nasty. Yeah, that's and this nice. was obviously solid gold. Of course, obviously. So It'll happen one day. Not even solid tin. You've and it's very time. tangled. And then two wonderful rings. Oh no, one wonderful ring and two little hair clips. So I genuinely did not want the contents at all, but but I've got them. Lucky me. They're, they can go in a bundle. I'll do a bundle. Bundles are the thing these days, aren't they? No idea. Still says you put around kids' necks and chuck them in the river. <laughs> you have a hobby. Oh, Jason says the camcorder came from a little old lady. Jason, is the little old lady in the film? As a younger woman. Why as a younger woman? Like so ages. Little old ladies can be can be doing whatever they want. No, I'm but just yeah, saying... Do you recognise the people on the film from the people at the car boot sale? Ashley says, morning, lady. What time did you end up going to bed last night? If anyone in the chat is not sub to Big Girls Really Do Cry, which you should be, by the way, you don't know what you're missing. Even Matt Damon watches. I'm sure there's a story behind that. <laughs> Buddy, get out of the flipping bag. It's literally in the Ikea bag. Right. Five pounds for these and something else. Are you going to get Nat to try them again? Possibly. It's always entertaining. I think they might be too small. I think they're only like a four or five. Mm. There are three. There are three. Four. I paid four pounds for these and a pound for something else from the same lady and I don't know what it was. Did you leave it there? No, it'll turn up. It'll turn up here somewhere. I definitely have no space. It'll be here somewhere. <laughs> Do you want to spend uh, this, my 50p on a bag, which isn't worth very much? Oh, go on then. Let's have a look. Oh. So, I like the old bag company. 
Yeah, but they really don't go for much, which is a shame because it is yeah. actually, you know, it's quite cute with the little wooden yeah. bits and yeah. it's handmade in Devon and stuff. But yeah, they really don't go for much. It does need a wash, so I'll have to stick it through the washing machine. But <laughs> <laughs> Sue says, have I missed the mugs? And look at this. Look at this twat. No, Sue, they're still alive. Oh, oh, they're oh, nice. they're oh. Nice. <laughs> These are your friends. Enough said. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, she says they're a fat, they're fat shame. They're only a three and she needs her toes. I'll look out for a bigger pair for you, Ashley. <laughs> I got a pair of sketches for 50p. They are they need a wash, but sketches I've usually put through the washing machine quite successfully. So I thought for 50p it was worth trying them. And if they don't come through successfully, I won't care for 50p. Mugs are still alive. I've got a mug. Do you want to see my mug? Yeah, let's see your mug. I spent two quid on a mug. That was the point. Two quid on two a mug. Quid on mug. Two quid. Oh, I like that though. That's it's funny. Really cool, isn't it? Lift to see the base. Let me see the base. Nothing on the base. Oh, I can't read that. No, it's it's too pale on that online look. It's um Mian Miam. I think it's American, um, or at least they sell in America. Huh? It looks Japanese. Uh, American, apparently. Um, yeah, it doesn't say where it's made, but they sell in America. Um, for like twenty pound each. Nice. Yeah, I would bought that definitely. Yeah. I found the thing I bought for a pound with the boots. It was a dog bowl. <laughs> I knew I bought something else. It was a dog bowl. Deb says, did I just see a tin? Now, Deb, I'm glad you're there. Is Mama, is Mama Tins in? I haven't seen her. Perhaps she's not here yet. I bought, with Mama, Mama Tins in mind, this one, which cost me 50p, because I'm fairly <gasps> sure I bought oh something similar. God. I saw exactly the same tin at the car route today. Exactly the same. And I thought I, I, I thought of <laughs> one of the tins, but it had sticky tape all on it and it yeah. was some of the things. I think I bought her one of these, one of this range not long ago, and she said to look out for more, but I might be wrong. Okay, so there's that one that I bought for Mama Tins this morning if she wants it. If she doesn't want it, it's fine. They're not compulsory. These ones, which I thought Mama Tins might like, because I know I've had some from this range before and she's bought them. So one says bobs or alternately bits. And the other one says stuff that isn't bits and bobs. Mm -hmm. So those are from the Happy Jackson, Happy Jackson, Happy, Jack, Happy, Happy Jackson range. Those are the ones I bought. However, these have come in the post from Intelligent Zombie. I don't think Intelligent Zombie's in the chat yet this morning. I haven't noticed her, I don't think. So these have come in the post, and these are also for Mama Tins if she wants them. Wow. So there are. There's a Smiggle Safe Tin. There's a a Milka tin. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that doing? There's a Stephen Brown tin, which I have to say I love. That's a Highland Coo Stephen Brown tin. <laughs> Stor says, Mum of Tins must be so proud of her son's work on the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> 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 There's a little cookie tin with a putty cat on it. There's a Swizzled Love Hearts tin. There's a smaller cookie tin with a pretty cat on it. And then there's a very vintage. Oh, roses. Oh, no. Walker's palm, palm toffee. toffee. Never heard of that. Walter's. Walter's palm. Oh, I've gone very echoey. Walter's palm toffee. Nice so, um, so those are those have been sent from Intelligent Zombie for Mama Tins if she wants them. I don't think there's any offence if you don't want any of them, but let me know any of those that you want, and I will post them on down and let me know if you want the ones that I got for you today as well. And also, from Intelligence Zombie, there's this, and it's for you. For me? For you. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I want to see. I want to see. What is it? What is it? It's a pretty oh, cat brooch. Oh, hello. I don't, I, don't, it's, it's, I don't know what it's made of. I think it's... It's acrylic. Acrylic work, um, acrylic work, yeah. 
Yeah, it's a, a leotine copy. Okay. And then there's this. Very nice. Okay. It says, it says 4X. Do you want me to open it? Yeah. Okay. Mama Tins wants all of them. No problem, Mama Tins. They're coming your way. Be a big box. <laughs> So inside the little bag is a little box. The little box. And inside the little box is a little thing. The little thing. And the little thing is teeny tiny. Teeny, teeny tiny animal. <laughs> and I can't get out the tiny box. So that's it. That's that's the whole story. Hang oh. on. There he is. It's a nephilim. It's a tiny nephilim. Tiny, tiny nephilim. Tiny, Aww. tiny. So that is for you from Joe Intelligent Zombie. Thank you very I'm much, happy. Joe. So I don't think she's in. I'm sure I haven't seen her in the chat. But she might be working on something. So I'll, I will remember to bring those to you. Thank you. So tins for tins for Mama Tins. <laughs> Kelly says we need to see Mama Tins' full collection. Well, maybe maybe Deb can send me a picture or a couple of pictures or a hundred pictures, and I, I could show you guys if Mama Tin. I can wants. just imagine Mama Tin sat on like a tiny little chair, just surrounded, like they're all piled <laughs> up all around her, and she's just there going, "No more tins! <laughs> Don't nudge the tins!" <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to move these because now I'm not going. So yeah, yay for all the tins! Morning, Joy. Uh, DBG says elephants, my favorite. No, Carol says her tins are called roses, heroes, and celebrations. <laughs> and oh, I paid five pounds, five pounds for a Kipling bag. I don't Thank know if Bronwyn Hazel was here earlier on, but I don't know if she's still here because I never know what time it is where she is. But um, Bronwyn Hazel does love a Kipling bag, so maybe it's a Kipling rucksack, Kipling backpack. I think it's nice. a changing bag because I'm pretty sure that's a change in that. But buddy, will you go and lie down? Stomping around back there. But yeah, um, you could use it just as an ordinary rucksack, obviously. That was a fiver. Go and lie down. I do love him. I do. Bear with. One pound twenty for a Tractor Ted DVD and a little purse. Now, if I was the bloke, I said to him, "How much for these two? If I was him, I'd have gone. Oh, I'll give us a quid." But no, yeah. he went one pound twenty, and I only had one pound fifty, so he had to go and search for change, and I let him do it. Yes, because I was Absolutely. like, "You're bigger than twenty person." So that's a little Radley coin purse, actually. Huh. Yeah. And two pounds for the Sherlock Holmes collection. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah, nice, yeah. Um, the whole lot. Lovely. Lovely Scarlet, Adventures of Sherlock, Casebook of Sherlock, Memoirs of Sherlock, His Last Bow, Return of Sherlock, Valley of Fear, Hound of the Baskervilles, Further Adventures. Annoyingly, they printed that one in the wrong direction. How annoying is that? And sign of four. Look at that. Oh, man. Why? Why do that? Why? <laughs> yeah. Why do that? Fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> write in and complain yeah Karen says the rucksack would have been 50 pound yeah, I think the lady said she paid 60 so yeah Tracy Lewington says hi ladies I'm newish but love your videos are you all friends or related Josh as well just friends just friends although yeah. um there was a lady that commented the other day um oh sorry I can't remember her name now she's quite new to watching and um there was we were all sat around with Josh and um she's like oh carla's son he's so pretty isn't he he should go into modeling and things like oh and it was josh yeah josh not not my son although i am old enough do you know what i realized this morning i said this to kelly and jason at the car boat you know when you bend over and as you stand up you go oh me back and you say to the stall holder laughing oh it's old age in it old age in it i've realized that people have stopped saying you're not old Normally you go, oh, it's my old age, and they go, you're not old, and people have stopped doing that. Yeah, now they're just going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 
Swines. I got a Lion King comfort blanket for a pound. That should go for a good 25 quid. So quite happy with that one. Silence from Lex because she's like, Ugh, Disney. Ugh, God, just. And I paid four pounds for these three items, these two items and another one, which I've mislaid. What the fuck is that with me? Oh, what's that one? So it's a mother care bedtime bear comforter. It's a floozy by Frost French clutch bag. Ooh, nice. And Kath Kidston coming up Rose's book, which I've never seen before. So this is the story of growing a business. Perhaps I should sell it to you. Oh, no, you're already running a business. I forgot. And Kath Kidston? Not running a business anymore. Yeah, maybe maybe that one, maybe that one's missed its moment. Morning, Sam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not following their own advice, maybe. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. A pound for an Aladdin bento box. Have you got any more haul, Lex? I'm just yeah, I've got jewellery, but you hate jewellery, so. Well, I don't mind it if it's gold. Mm, Two pounds for all of these Betty Boot bits. They're in a Betty Boot box. They are mostly phone charms, which is the most 90s thing ever, isn't it? Because nobody has a phone charm anymore, do they? I don't think you even get the little hole on your phone. Do you remember phones used to come with a little hole that you could thread a hole, a, a charm through? And I don't think they even come with that anymore because the world's moved on. But they're Betty Boop, so maybe they'll sell. Was it two pounds or a pound? Might have been a, I think it was a quid, actually. And there's key rings in there and shit like that. So a beautiful Betty Boop charm bracelet, look. Real silver? It's real Betty. Mm, there we go. <laughs> I've got some real silver. Do you want to see my real silver? Yes, go on then. Okay. So, got some necklaces. Necklaces. Necklace. So, these were three pound each. So, that's, obviously, that's, what is it? Abalone. Correct. Look at me knowing stuff. Agate! Um, not sure. Moonstone, Agate. carnelian, green Agate. stuff, and brown stuff. Agate. Brown ag brown agate, green agate. agate. <laughs> um, this one, don't know. Black stripey stuff. Onyx. And Onyx. Um, this bracelet. Oh, that was that was a pound. And then this was three pounds as well. Agate, brown and no. green, brown and green. No, no, hang on. I think I can guess what that is. Let me just see if I can just guess a minute. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just guessing a moment. Just guess a moment while you. Uh, I'm just guessing. At, hang on, I'm guessing. While you I look at that. I can earlier. feel my guess coming. My guess is on its way. My here comes my guess now. Hang on, where the fuck is my guess? I think my guess is. I think I think that might be unikite. Yes, well done. Wow, Unikite. No yes. Stop. But yeah, silver and polished stone. So that was eleven pounds altogether for those four bits. And then these were 50p each. So some coral craft. And then I just thought that was a fun nautical kind of brooch. Some um, I spent two pound on a bunch of rings and a pair of earrings. Some of the rings I just put in a job lot, but these ones are ones I'll put into a vintage job lot. That one's gold plated, and some Monet earrings. This is rather fabulous, and it's got a nice plastic barrel clasp. You love it, don't you, Carla? Is that good, a plastic power clasp? Well, it's just unusual, okay. you know? And then this, I think I spent 50p on, and it's very old. And I pro it's probably pinchbeck, isn't it, Kelly? Pinchbeck, but very, very old. And so I, don't, I just don't know. But, but I thought for 50p, it's worth a go, and I'll obviously fix that. But, yeah, just thought, you know. Very, very old. Like me. Yeah, like you. So there we go. 
Yes. Well done. So yeah. you're happy with your little haul? Store says it's Victorian. Yeah. Last two bits. Quid for a vintage phone. Nice colour. It's even got. Look at that. There's a little blast from the past. Talking oh, pages it. sticker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking pages bristle. O two seven two two nine 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 two. I mean, I don't even remember when we changed from 0272 to 0117. Long time ago. And the last thing I bought was this. She's got it marked at five, but she took four. And it is, it's a Disney villainous board game. Um, seems to sell for between 20 and 30. Although there are lots of different expansion packs and whatever. So I need to check what i've got but it's, it's a quite nicely done thing so for disney it's just, it's just quite nicely it's it's not a, it's not like a children's board game it's more like a dungeons and dragons kind of thing you know like a um the kind of thing that people have a Kickstarter for is what I'm trying to say, you know? Yeah. That kind of thing. It's got little little villains in there. I'm not sure who he is. Or who any of them. He's Bob. Bob. Bob the Builder. Is he, is he a yeah. Disney villain now? I suppose after I his know. channel dried up, he had to branch out. After his TV show's work slowed up. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nicely made thing anyway, so... Tasty says we had that phone in the 80s. Store says everything was either maroon or grey in the 80s. Yeah, everything was brown and orange in the 70s, and then it was maroon and grey in the 80s. And then the 90s, we went a bit tie-dye, didn't we? A bit tie-dye, and then towards the end, it was just everything grey, like mm. and, and utility wear and stuff. Yeah. Started off colourful. Oh, those, went... those heat-activated clothings. Clothings. Yes, I, I keep I look out for them as well. I would because I never had one and I wanted one. So Which, I, I do. You know, when you think about it, it's like yeah, if if you're sweaty, everyone knows. Yeah, that's an attractive idea. Yeah, it? where it's just like it's change color around the armpits. That's nice. <laughs> and the naff naff jackets. Do you remember those? Yes, everyone in my school had one apart from me, and I was so glad then to <laughs> not be different. It, like to be different because I didn't want one. I thought they looked like I'm a twat. fucking individual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are no mugs Auntie Sue was like am I here in time for the mugs and there were no mugs, I did buy six mugs yesterday though, so I feel like I've I've mugged up look, I bought these yesterday very mugged very mugged and these two whoa, and that was nearly this one and a half Jamie Oliver and this, this is quite nice is it? well you know comparatively I bought mugs this week. Did you? Since yeah. When buy, since when do you buy mugs? Blah, 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 blah. Since when? Since when they were all uh, vintage and fifty pence each, and quite cool. Like my favourite one is my um, first man on the moon one. Like that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, people are, are people are, live, people are um, reminiscing now about the nineties. Dorothy's in. Hi, Dorothy. Karen says the only in fashion thing she had was kickers. I never had kickers. I had kickers nothing. Were horrible as well, didn't they? I had nothing that was in fashion. Everyone else here was wearing kickers and naff naff and global hypercolor. And I was wearing um, Doc Martens and I had um, a coat like from the Army and Navy store, you know, like one of the dust jackets. I had one of those and a green yeah. one. Oh yeah, I, I was I was not I was not trending. Yeah, green one, yeah. which I dyed purple because oh, no, my mine mine was still green, but yeah, I had a, a green dust jacket from the Army from like from well from the ASOS store down the road, which was ASOS didn't mean then what it means now. Yeah. Um, I was such an individual. Lainey says she had pods. Still says he hated all of the nineties. I didn't. I like nineties. Do you remember the, the fashion for the MC Hammer pants with the massive? Yeah, again, that kind of area. <laughs> I, sort of uh, I sort of missed that one as well, thankfully. 
You're never too old for docks, Dorothy. If you want to wear docks, you wear docks. 60's not too old. My mum's 73. She's got two pairs of them. Yeah, see? Never One too old. You get yourself a box. quite pink. Get yeah. yourself a box. Too old. <laughs> jelly shoes. Oh, God. Josh, did you have jelly shoes in the 90s? Josh wasn't born. Squelch. Josh was born in, like, 1999 or something, I think. Oh, that's just... No one should have been born in 1999. That's just wrong. Do you remember the jelly handbags? Yes plastic handbags with the holes in you had to have a carrier bag inside it otherwise all your pens and pencils fell out through the holes completely pointless yeah, yeah. <laughs> they I came back in a couple of years back but didn't last very long i've got some more stuff i was like, oh, you find all your stuff show us your stuff oh no i got stuff from yesterday as well for a pound oh that's worth picking up definitely yeah yeah but that just might go in one of mum's christmas presents in her stocking <laughs> You know, um, I uh, this isn't worth much, so yay for me. This is a pound as well. 1999 Hill Design bread warming plate. But still cool. with... Your sound's gone odd. Has it? You put something down near your speaker that's echoing. Um, this I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. I am in the hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that I can't hear you. It's just as a weird kind of like, like you know, like when you know, when like I was like a wimber way and into the wooden vase. It's a bit like a that. Wimber, a wimber way. Do I sound weird? Really? Yeah, a little bit. I'm on my way. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I got I got some books. One for me, which is Fun Flow Over the Cuckoo Nest. So that's for me to keep. And uh, John Spine Steinbeck's of Mice and Men, two copies of, because it's a GCSE text. Ah. So they will sell come the new school year, not for loads, you know, four quid each. Yeah. You know. CBG says, remember the blow-up backpacks with a groovy chick key ring and a Ms. magazine inside? You might even remember the blow-up chairs. Do you remember when everybody had I an inflatable chair? I had a blow up chair. I took it to, things. Okay, I took it to uni with me. Um because obviously you don't you don't buy furniture. We all had blow up chairs. Okay. We all smoked a lot of sticky black. Yeah. Hot rocks. Yeah. Mm. Nice blim burn on your blow up chair. Yeah. <laughs> Every freaking time. Yeah. <laughs> and this Great was shoes. this was a pound. Oh, you can see yourself. Oh, look, there's me. Woo! But it, um, yeah. it's a Piero mirror. Piero mirror. Yeah. Do you remember that page in the Argos catalogue that was just, you could get a Piero bedroom, basically. Everything was Piero. Sick and wrong. <laughs> Disgusting. I also bought a vintage dress. Wait there. Should I talk? I could talk, couldn't I? La, 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 hello. The very hey, Steve says I had a blow-up chair and it blew up. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's horrible. Yeah, it's very vintage. I haven't looked it up yet. Oh, that's a punishment dress. It's proper old, proper old. I'm thinking like 1940s. That it's looks like the one that they made Anne of Green Gables wear when she wanted puff sleeves. It might even be older. It's proper old. Hang on. Vic... Tor, oh, so, so, uh, look, what, no. Is your, your Wi-Fi going or is that actually how you're talking? <laughs> that is actually how I'm talking. Um, 1950s, I would have thought it's probably older than that. Kirsten says, thanks for my dress. I think she's just buying that brown one off you. Uh, no, I sent her um, a dress <laughs> The one with bumblebees on it that I bought uh, the other week. She took a fancy to it. Ah. Yeah, that dress looks like the one that Marilla makes for, um, for Anne in, in Anne of Green Gables when all the other girls have got puff sleeves. Ah. Well, <laughs> it, it needs a bit of care and attention. It needs a good dry clean. But... Shut up. <laughs> 
Just a match will do fine. Just one match, a little bit of petrol. Although it looks like it's probably fallible. <laughs> probably silk. I think it's silk. Elaine says, I used to sell a lot on eBay a few years ago, but then life got in the way. But watching you two lovely ladies has given me the incentive to try again. There are loads of charity shots where I live. Go for it, Elaine. Deb says that dress looks like a prop from The Handmaid's Tale. It's a horrible dress. It'll sell oh, for a fortune. Exactly. You don't have to wear it. I don't yeah, have to wear it. It won't sell to me for a fortune. I'm oh. so surrounded by stuff. My room was a mess when I started, and now I'm... Look, I'm turn the camera. Yay. <laughs> I, just, I haven't listed anything of the stuff that I have bought this week. Nothing at all. So I've got I've got loads, loads over there. They've definitely all made friends now. All of the see all of the stuff. They've all made friends. What even the twins that had a vow on the way home? Yeah, they're not talking. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. Because one of them is now up there and it's beautiful. Isn't it lush? It's very nice. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's very I nice. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. It's it's very nice. Nice. Beautiful. I love that you love it. Yeah, I know you don't like it. <laughs> we don't have to be the same, do we? Imagine if we were the same, we'd be fighting over stuff. Well, yeah, exactly. If it's just wandered in, like an hour into the stream. I know, rude. Like we don't even matter. She's just back from a boot fair. Does that mean that you're going to... Um, oh, Heather, maybe Heather's got a live, yeah. Live come in. Been busy with the other 300 I've listed. I haven't listed 300 this week. I've only listed about 100. Ashley says your shade looks stunning. And Ooh. Shirley Boland says she loves your light shade, very retro. So there you go. People do like your light shade. Beautiful. And I like that you like your light shade, which is important. Yes. But yeah, they, they've all made friends. Um, somebody, I can't remember who it is, uh, was interested in the jigsaw puzzle. And I commented on their comment, but I haven't heard back from them. But it is still like there, because uh, this isn't going to get listed for at least a week or so. But, you know, shoddy. <laughs> <laughs> and this channel is the treasure pirate, Debs. Heather the Treasure Pirate. And um yeah, I think I think that is nearly it. Yeah. I've also got more jewellery, but oh, and I did get this might be for me to keep because I do like it. But lovely wooden inlay box with um oh, that's diamonds. That's I like nice, that. isn't it? For keeping your cards in. But I like that. Nice. One of the um one of the jewelry boxes that stall picked up this month. I've got one of them somewhere. It used to belong, belong to my grand. The um chinoiserie jewelry box. Ooh, and some pill boxes. This is a, a rather nice one. That's it's a bridge box. Thank you. But isn't that that's nice? A damascene little pill box. And uh, this cost me a pound. And this is sterling silver and garnet. I oh, see that's nice. Lovely. And that, that that's a proper old one as well. Because hmm. it's got um just a basic clasp on it. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice stuff. Nice stuff. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Stall, how is your chess set selling? Because that was a quite Did exciting... it on auction in the end. Yes, I think so. Let's have and... a chess set update, Stall. And it had like 17 million watches on it. Quite. That, that's quite a lot. That's more than I've got on anything. Like all of eBay was watching it. All <laughs> of eBay. Yeah, everyone in the world was watching it. I don't think the music works on mine, Stall. Mine, mine's proper, proper battered. It's gone down through the generations. I don't think the music works on it. I love WD-40 as well. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Boland says she wishes she lived in the UK. She would definitely buy that brooch. Lex posts internationally. I do. Yes. Okay. Contact Lex if you wish to buy that brooch. You can you can message me on Tinstagram. Tinstagram, where she is bad biscuit. Bad underscore biscuit? 
Bad bit underscore Lex, which is L E double X. Double X. Underscore Lex. Double X. Yes. Don't forget the two X's. Very important. Uh, so sorry for being late, such a rude treasure pirate shall I stand in the corner. Well, the last two people who were late, we made them write out 500 times, I must not be late for the live. And then Sue Sue got away with it by having a note from herself. Um, so, you. <laughs> the chess set is still at 299, but it finishes tonight. Fingers crossed for a last minute rush. What time does it finish? We'll all cross our fingers at the right time for you. And, may, and maybe even put in a little shell bid. No, I didn't say that. No. You'll end up buying a chess set that you don't want if you're not careful. Very true, That's yeah. I think that always I won't, <laughs> I won't be doing that. I won't be doing that. <laughs> Catherine says, I saw someone in Manchester a couple of weeks ago with a can of swan lighter fluid sniffing it up. Lovely. Yeah. Whatever it takes to get them through the day. Yeah. Heather's going to go and have a strong word with herself. Good. Sackcloth and ashes time, Heather. <laughs> Put yourself in the corner. I must post it. It's been sitting here since I came back from Caroline's. What's there? A little present I bought for Heather, but I haven't posted oh. it. I didn't post it because she was away, and I didn't know whether it would fit through her. I don't know what her letterbox like. is. That, although, actually, it probably would have fit through her letterbox, but even so. I can't read it. It's at 9.42 p.m., so if we could all cross our fingers and really contact the universe at about 9, about 9.38 should do, give people get time to get their bids in. Yeah, real, real focusing, about 9.38. Oh. So, Anyone seen Brum resellers lately? I don't think I. I don't think I've got Brum reseller. Tom, what? Tom put it in the chat last night. Oh no, I haven't seen that. What? What is it? What? Tell me. Give me a. Give me a synopsis. Okay, so he went to. I think it's like an, a sort of auction house or something, and um, there's a thing where you could buy lost post. So he spent. I think it's 120 pound on 20 still packaged items of lost post. Right. And he's there opening it all. And we see his reactions because it's six pounds per item. And yeah. he's like, and the the crap. The crap. Oh, so it's all shit. Well, half of it's stuff from China. Yeah. So it's like, ooh, a pair of flip flops, ooh, um, you know, oh. a knockoff Armani top and you know, a, a bit of pipe, a bit of foam. Like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh dear. Yep. But you know, he's he's a funny lad. So it was, you know, it was worth watching, but not worth him spending 120 quid on it, which is a shame. I yeah. think that also that is a disgraceful price for them to charge. Like even like six pounds per parcel, like no 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 no. For 20 parcels, I would say 40 quid. Yeah. Yeah. That's, not, isn't it? that's a more fair price, but no, not. 120 quid is that's disgusting. Mm. But no, I'm you should many stuffs. Yes, same. I'm gonna have to tidy this up. I'm going out this afternoon. I'm going, going? Um my friend Fiona is down from London, so we're um going around her dad's house to um sit in the garden and have tea, all very civilized. It's nice. After yesterday where I sat in a pub and had gin. <laughs> I got into bed last night about 20 to 9 and it felt like I was like god I've just have I'm actually having a late night and I looked at the clock and I was always oh, 8 42 it's not that late <laughs> Josh has got loads of stuff you'll have to do a live Josh I'd invite you on to yeah. show us, but I've got to go because I've got to do other, other things but you could go live people will watch go live Josh do a live, Josh. Josh, do a live. Right after this. Come on. Hop Come on. on. Josh, go live. People will go over to you. We've yeah. got 191 people watching. If Everyone in the chat, let us know if you want Josh to do a live with, his, with everyone he's bought this morning. Just set everyone. it up now, Josh. Set it up. And come on straight after. Set it up, bung the link in, and away people go. Yeah. Carissa says she beat me. She went to bed at 5.30. That, I think that's probably possibly beats my record. I think my record is about 6 p.m. In my head, I have to wait for 6 p.m. to tick over before it's a reasonable time to go to bed. Yeah, because isn't that the... Well, no, no, 7 o'clock is more night time. 6 no, o'clock is still... 6 p.m. is evening. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah, you can't even say it's night time. <laughs> it was winter. I think 6 o'clock is reasonable. 
like when it gets dark at like four o'clock i think that's okay yeah now, everybody's saying do a live josh do a live josh yeah. drop a do a live oh and if you haven't thumbed up please do we love a thumb we love a thumb up we love a thumb up <laughs> That everybody wants a live Josh. Josh even still there. He was he was there two seconds ago because he's not got he, Josh, I reckon, is probably uh, can't go. Oh, why not, Josh? Why can't you go live, Josh? Is JD Network reselling? He's got to go out soon. Go out later. Do a live first. Do a quick live. Come on. Come Lady, on. that's cheating. You can't win. Josh. Josh. Oh, oh, should we go for a wind? Oh, it's not fair. Oh, you hear a child doing that to its parent and you're like, please murder your child. Oh, I hate you. I didn't ask to be born. <laughs> Morning, lady. We're about to go, love. Sorry. <laughs> go on, Josh. You can squeeze in a quick live. Dorothy says, bye for now. Got to go for a shower. I'm attracting the flies after my walk. Oh, dear. Nice. <laughs> Just a good sweat there, Dorothy. Well done. Very nice. <laughs> Saul says, Josh can't go live. He's too busy filming for the hoarder next door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. We Where's want Josh. We want Josh. Just me then. I want <laughs> We do, though. Um, I do that. So well, that whinging, she's had years of practice, just to her yeah. mum. And they're having a tantrum and going, I hate you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I hate you. Go to my oh, room. Oh, yeah, the kids are doing it. Slam. Yeah. <laughs> I actually watched an episode of Harry Enfield last night. Oh, yeah. 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 It was the one where he pretends he I'm stayed his friend. I'm his person. I'm his person. Oh, have a good day, Miss Parson. <laughs> oh, hey, Susan, bad wolf. Just woken up after a late night with Lainey, eh? Hey, hey. Rude. Right, well, if Josh isn't going live, then screw you. Yeah. In it. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, we don't care. You just disappointed 190 odd people, but that's fine. Yeah. Right, we should go. We should go. Will you please get out of that IKEA bag? Okay, I will. Buddy, for some reason, is obsessed with charging through this IKEA bag. Right, everybody, have a wonderful day. Remember to hi Lisa. Remember to cross your fingers I'm... at nine thirty-eight p.m. tonight for Stall's chess set listing. Oh, Josh is live. Anybody hey. watching hey. Josh? Lady Network reselling. Rush over and watch Josh is live. Off you go. Go, 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 go. We're going. Love you all. Have a lovely week. Be good. Bye. 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 Bye